So here I'm going to explain to you, as a start to Math 7, uh, some divisibility rules. And we're going to learn about divisibility rules for 2, 4, 5, and 8. Yeah. So to start with, uh, we'll look at the divisibility rules for 2. Now, first off, you sort of need to know what, uh, what numbers are evenly divisible by 2. So let's take a few numbers. We'll take 1, 56, 21, and 35. So in order to tell if a number is divisible by 2, all we need to do is look at the very last digit in the number. So no matter how long the number is or how many digits it has, we only need to look at the very last number. So in the case of 156, what we need to do is look at the 6. And all we need to say is, is 6 evenly divisible by 2? If it is, then we know that 2 will go evenly into 156. So because 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, we know that 156 is evenly divisible by 2. So yes, it is. When we look at 21, we look at the last number. And we can see that 1, you cannot divide by 2. So because you cannot divide it by 2, we know that 21 is not evenly divisible by 2. Lastly, when we look at 35, we look to the 5. We know that 5 cannot be divided evenly by 2. Therefore, therefore 35 is not divisible by 2. Now that we've looked at 2, let's try 4. We'll let's try these few numbers here. We'll try, let's see, 1... We'll try the same numbers, 1, 56, uh, 21, and 35. So when we look at 156, the rule for 4 is a little bit different than 2, but it's much very similar process. So in order to look at it, we have to look at not just the last digit, but now we have to look at the last two digits. So here's how it works. We look at 56. Is 56 divisible by 4. So in this case we know that 56 is divisible by 4 because it equals 14. So because 56 is divisible by 4 that means that 156 is divisible by 4. Let's look at 21. Now there's only two digits in 21 so we have to look at the last two digits. We go 21 divided by 4. So does 4 evenly divide into 21? No, it does not. 4 can't go into 21 evenly, therefore 21 is not divisible by 4. And 35, we look at the last two digits. There is only two digits, so we look there and we say 35 divided by 4. Now, 4 does not go evenly into 35, so therefore we say it is not divisible by 4. Okay, now we're going to take a look at 8. Um, We'll look at 5 after this, but we're going to take a look at 8. So we'll take a look at the divisibility rules for 8. Now, it builds on with 2 and 4 as well. So here's what we do. Let's take uh, some different numbers this time. We'll take uh, 3,524. We'll take uh, 1,206. And we'll take uh, something simple like 120. 136, say. So for 8, instead of looking at the last digit like we did for 2 or the last 2 digits like we did for 4, we have to look at the last 3 digits here. So what we do is we look at the last 3 digits and we say to ourselves, okay, for 8 to be e evenly divisible, we say 524 divided by 8. Ooh, I wrote 525 there. Let me erase that. Oh, yeah, it takes a while on this. So let's try again. Um, 524. And what we'll do is we'll divide by 8, and here's what we'll see. So we will see if 524 is evenly divisible by 8, and if it is, we will know that 3,524 is evenly divisible by 8. So if we go 524 divided by 8, uh, you can use a calculator here if you'd like, but you don't need to. Uh, you, should, you should be able to come up with 65.5. Uh, if you come up with 65.5, is that evenly divisible by 8? No, absolutely not. So therefore, 
8 does not go evenly into 3,524. Let's try 1,206. So what we do to see if 8 evenly divides into it is we look at the last three digits here. And we say 206 divided by 8. Now does that, let's see if it goes in evenly. So if we were to look at it, and we said 206 divided by 8, again, I don't expect you to know if it goes evenly, but if you were to punch that in on the calculator, you'd say it comes out to be 150.75. Well, if that's the case, that doesn't evenly go in, therefore we know that 1,206 is not evenly divisible by 8. Lastly, let's take a look at 136. Now, we only have three digits, so we have to look at all three. When we look at all three, we go 136 divided by 8, we should know, ooh, okay, or, you know, you can use a calculator again, go from there, but we should know that that comes out to 17. So because 136 is evenly divisible by 8, yes, we know that for the last three digits. So again, divisibility for 8 is we look at, no matter how many digits, we just look at the last three. If it equals, if it's evenly divisible by the last three digits, then it's divisible by 8. And lastly, uh, divisibility by 5. Well, when we look at divisibility by 5, uh, probably the easiest one next to 2. And all you need to do is you need to look at the last digit. So let's just put out some numbers here. We'll go 525, we'll say 3,100, 3,000, we'll say 312, and one last one we'll say, uh, we'll say 1, hundred thousand and five how's that so the rule for five actually I'm gonna put one more in we'll say uh, two hundred and ten so the rule for five is actually quite simple we look at the last digit here and if it ends in zero or five all we do is we say it's divisible by five so if it ends in a 0 or 5, we know it's evenly divisible by 5. So in 525, the last digit's a 5, it ends in 5, therefore, yes, it is. We look at 3,012, I'm going to change colors here. Uh, we look at 3,012, the 2, we look at the 2, is two, divis is 2 a 0 or a 5? No, it's not. Therefore, 3,012 is not divisible by 5. For 100,005, we look at the last number. And when we look at the last number, it's a 5. Is it, is it a 0 or a 5? Yes, it is. Therefore, 100,005 is divisible by 5. The last one that I have down here, uh, 210. Is it a 0? Yes, it is. It's a 0 or a 5? Yes, it is. Therefore, 210 is evenly divisible by 5. And that is the end of these divisibility rules. So for class, you need to know and write down all of the divisibility rules for 2, 4, 5, and 8. You will need to memorize these, and we'll do some activities in class where you will learn how to do it. You can always refer back to this, so we'll go from there. See you later. Made with DoodleCast Pro.